Hey, today I want to do a little bit of comparison of ben, uh, with uh, Walmart, Costco's, and BJ's. And all of them have their good points and they all have their bad points, unfortunately. Start with these uh, box of 50 count Lay's potato chips, just the potato chips. Walmart, I mean, uh, Costco's used to carry them and so they quit carrying them. Now you have to go to BJ's to get them. Now, to be honest with you, I live right in between two BJ's and one in Sanford, Florida. So it's a hit and miss on them. But the one in the Claremont, Florida, usually they always have them. So it's about two miles further to Claremont than it is to Sanford. So when we need this stuff, we just go over to Claremont and make a day of shopping over there. So. You know, if one store don't want to carry something for you, just go to another store. You know, it gets all these people just treat you the way they want to, and there's nothing you can do about it. You can do something about it. You stop shopping there. Okay, another thing is this Jimmy Dean sausage I got sitting here. Costco's used to carry that, but they don't carry it anymore for some unknown reason. They quit carrying that. I guess Jimmy Dean wanted to go up on the price a little bit or something, but anyway. You can't get that there anymore either, so lo and behold, BJ's has got it. And at a good price. About uh, 60, 70 cents cheaper than what you can get at a Walmart. Okay, now these two uh, cartons of eggs together now. Costco's used to carry those. They don't have them anymore. If you want to get eggs at Costco's, you have to get one of these big flats. You know, I don't know how in the world anybody puts them in the refrigerator unless you got a restaurant or something. Maybe that's all they want to sell to these people in the restaurants, which that's okay. That's okay. Let them sell to the people in the restaurants, but we have to get our stuff somewhere else. Okay, now they stopped carrying this Twin Packs Smucker's Jelly for a while, but they started back. They put some organic stuff in there. If you like organic, that's fine, but it's going to cost you about twice as much. And they did the same thing with this log cabin syrup. They stopped carrying it for a while and then they started back. So, you know, if you like organic, go ahead and buy it, you know. But if I can get a can of beans for 59 cents and organic's $1.59, I'm going to take 59 cents, especially if you can't tell the difference in the taste. But I know everybody, a lot of people like this organic. So if you like organic, go for it, you know. Do whatever you feel like you do best. Now, Walmart, I do uh, shopping at Walmart on Friday mornings early, so they can't say, well, we're out of stock because, you know, they shopped all day yesterday and sold everything because I do it early Friday mornings and, and they should have some stock in, you know, and they'd be out of stuff, stupid stuff. I don't I never understand it. How can you be out of plastic spoons, you know, 100 count plastic spoons? And most of the time, they don't even have them, you know. You just, when you see stuff like that, you have to get it. Now, let me tell you, though, they were out of those this last Friday morning, and something else they were out of. Ivory dishwashing liquid. How do you run out of stuff like that? Who does the ordering, you know? I mean, surely, surely, you know. You could think of get uh, ivory dishwashing detergent. And, that, and it's just stupid stuff like that. In their deli there, they've got to worry, they keep the lights all turned out and everybody hides from you at 7 o'clock because they don't really be bothered with you. I don't know what time they actually turn the lights on and, and let people shop at the deli. But there's one thing about it, BJ's has got a good deli and if the store's open, the deli's open. So, you know, and this is, this is just my complaint this morning, but you know, we like going to BJ's and we like going to Costco's, so really it's not that big a deal to us, but it's just, you know, I don't know why they would quit carrying items like this that they sell, you know, and especially eggs and sausage. You know, it just don't make any sense to me. But, now they still sell eggs, don't get me wrong, they sell a lot of eggs, but they don't have them in the twin packs like that anymore. They felt like they had to go to the big flats which is fine, but now they don't have any sausage at all that I know of. I mean, they've got kielbasa and stuff like that, but as far as Jimmy Dean sausage and stuff like that, they just don't have it. And so anyway, that's just a little uh, something for thought here about where you go to do your shopping and what kind of shopping you want to do, you know. And that's my little comparison of uh, 
Costco's, BJ's, and Walmart. Of course, now Walmart, you know, they have pretty good prices, but the stuff that they're out of week after week, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. Now, this week, they'll probably have plenty of spoons and no forks, you know, so go figure. <laughs> but there's a lot of things in that store that you can walk around and just see empty shelves of, you know. So I don't know what the deal is about that, whether it's poor management or somebody just don't know how to order or whether they're letting the computer order for them and the computer just didn't getting it right. But anyway, that's my little gripe for today. And that's why we do it around the house here. And I hope you enjoyed watching this little video. I hope you're watching more of my videos. And I hope you come back and see me real soon because I hope to have another video for you real soon. And y'all have a good day. And give me a thumbs up if you can. We'll talk to you real soon now. Y'all have a good day. Goodbye.